Welcome back to another training tip, guys. I got Coach Dwayne Pepperjack here ready to demonstrate our exercise today. Today we're going to talk about the pull-up and the many variations that you can do with it, whether you've got to regress it for your adolescents or your maybe heavier athletes, or maybe you need to progress it for those guys who can really knock out pull-ups like it's nothing. Okay? All Coach is going to do is he's going to grab the bench and move it down so he has a platform to get to the pull-up bar. Again, you can use the safety pins. You can move those up if you want to help climb up there. But all we're going to do is we're going to talk about the grips, okay? We can start in a supinated grip with our palms facing us, okay? That's going to put a little bit more isolation with the biceps and the lats and rhomboids. If we go pronated grip, okay, now we're moving up and isolating a lot more of the lats, okay? We widen our grip even more from that pronated position. That's going to be the most difficult position for an athlete to get in because you're elongating their levers, making it more difficult. And then we can also go neutral grip, which is going to be the most shoulder friendly. I'd advise you to use those for your in-season programs. Okay, maybe somebody who has a little impingement in the shoulder, the neutral grip is going to be a little bit more friendly for those athletes. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with an isometric chin hang. Okay, we're going to be in the supinated grip, start up tall. I would recommend starting with an isometric for any of your adolescent athletes or your heavier athletes. Just getting the strength to be able to hold that deep flex position. Okay, and then from there we can go to our eccentric load. So he'll control down for five seconds and then come all the way back up. If you have an athlete who cannot go all the way back up, all they do is climb back up to the top or jump and then control back down to the eccentric load. Again, I would start isometric, go eccentric, and then allow them to really knock out the pull-ups. There's no way to really go wrong here, okay? If you're going to be doing the eccentric load, I would recommend anywhere from three to six reps. If you're going to be going and just letting them roll through it, okay, then you're going to have to say, hey, maybe on the last set, let's get as many as we can. All right, there's a lot of ways you can make the pull-up more difficult. The isometric and eccentric is going to be your, your best way of doing that. Again, guys, thank you. This is a training tip. Talk to you next week.